you know, we cause ourselves more hurt and we line ourselves up for more pain, disappointment when we don't let go of things after we're receiving signs and an indication that it's time to let that thing go. How do you know when it's time to let something go? Well, you have to use your feelings as like an internal compass. Your feelings are always going to direct you in the path that you should be going or not going. And when something starts to no longer feel good, when something starts bringing you more pain than it does joy, or when something has you questioning your own self-worth or value, then it's more than likely time for you to let that thing go. And a lot of times in relationships, I see this happening because we think that someone is meant to is is supposed to is in our life to be something other than what they're actually in our life to be someone either is going to enter your life because they're teaching you a lesson that you need to learn or they're in your life just for a season to carry you through to a next moment um and then you have the people who are in your life permanently like the roots of a tree they're in there for the long run doesn't matter what the weather is you know what storms come along they are with you they are grounded and rooted in your life and in your development and you'll know when you find those people because no matter what you do or no matter what they do you guys always end up mending your fences and going back to a place where you are beneficial and to each other and encouraging and lifting each other up and it's more it's more of a loving relationship than it is anything else love is the the dominating energy in those relationships and you know because that relationship feels like home and it's a relationship that you would never consider leaving or not being a part of now again when you don't have those feelings or when you have a feeling that's different from that then then you'll know because the feeling will be different from that you you won't feel that way you'll always contemplate leaving and contemplate whether you should be with this person or not is this right for me is this wrong for me if you're constantly questioning the relationship you're in it's not the right relationship for you if you're constantly trying to you know convince the other person of who you really are and that you're not you know a bad person or if there's constant fighting and struggling we all know those signs and they come in different forms to different degrees but don't ignore those signs because all you're doing is postponing the end of something and I know it's hard to let go of someone that you thought was going to be your forever person but the sooner you let go of the person that's not for you the sooner you can align yourself with the person who is actually for you and trust me that person is out there there is someone out there for everyone and sometimes there are multiple people out there for everyone so don't limit yourself to the love that you can find. The universe is not lacking in mates and potential love interests for you. It's just you may not know where or how that the next person is going to come from. You may think that you've there's just no good men in the area that you live in or whatever you think is, is your limiting factor. Just know that the universe is abundant and can always provide, especially when it comes to love. There is no limit on how many good partners you can meet. There's no limit on good men in this world. There's no limit on good women in this world. Keep your faith high keep yourself and your your well-being a priority and don't be afraid to let go when everything is showing you that it's time to i promise you the sooner you're able to to walk away and separate yourself from that situation that is not for you again the sooner you'll find the one that is for you so and yeah just sharing with you guys um as i always do from the pool of what i'm going through myself or what people who are close to me are going through and whenever i give advice to myself or to others the first thing i think of is i wonder who else could possibly benefit from this and then i go and share from that so basically the moral of the story is let go of things when they become too hot to hold or too heavy to hold or too burdensome whatever relationship you're in should always feel good and positive and forward moving there's a a thought process and an ideal that's being accepted nowadays about relationships that relationships are going to have all relationships have ups and downs and you're always going to be going through something that's just part of relationships but if you're a ride or die then you should hang in there no matter what happens and that is not the truth if you are with a man who is disrespectful to you verbally if he cheats on you if he abuses you in any way whether it's emotionally physically how what have you then that is a relationship that you should be out of don't let that man convince you that if you loved him then you would stay Day. because love does not mean you putting your own self in jeopardy your own physical health mental health emotional health in jeopardy to prove that you love someone else because if a person if there was enough love in that relationship it would not hurt love is not a painful process don't let anyone convince you otherwise love does not tear you down love does not make you feel like crap love does not make you contemplate whether it's love or not love is evident love is obvious love is gentle love is easy going love is the most natural thing in this world so if the relationship that you're in does not feel like that then it was not the relationship for you it was either a relationship to teach you a lesson or a relationship that was meant to help bridge the gap between you know a time of lack or or, or, or limitation that you had so 
let go and welcome in the abundance that is waiting for you. More light, life, love, peace, and abundance to you all later.